Hey guys, welcome back to Burmese's Math Club. Today's topic is adding fractions with different denominators. Now, in our previous video, we talked about finding common denominators. Well, this is where this that topic actually comes in because whenever you're adding or even subtracting fractions, you always need to have a common denominator. And this topic is adding fractions with different denominators. So the first step we're always going to have to take is find a common denominator. So let's say we have a problem such as 5 twelfths plus 9 eighteenths. Okay, as you can see, these two denominators are different. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, write 12 and 18, and we are going to find the common multiples of both of these numbers. So let's start out with 12. So 12 times 1 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36, times 4 is 48, times 5 is 60, times 6 is 72, times 7 is 84, times 8 is 96, times 9 is 108, and times 10 is 120. As you can see, I've listed the first 10 multiples of 12. Now, before I start writing all the multiples of 18, I just want to say that it's not important to write all the multiples. Like, if, if, for example, if I'm going and in the middle I find the common um, multiple of both of these numbers, I, ha I can just stop there. So starting with 18, 18 times 1 is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. Oh, look, 36 and 36. Those are common denominators, common multiples, sorry, right? So I don't need to go all the way till 10, right? So 36 and 36. What I'm going to do is come over here write 36 plus 36 as the denominators. I'm going to leave the numerators blank. And now, remember this. You can't just take 5 and 9, the numerators, and put them here because that changed the fractions, right? Because 5 twelfths and 5 36 is two different fractions. What you're going to do is you're going to look at the denominators from before and say, what times 12 is 36 and what times 18 is 36? Well, 12 times 3 is 36, right? Because over here, according to this, 12 times 3 is 36, and 18 times 2, so times 2 is 36. So what you're going to do, use these numbers and multiply them by the numerator. So 5 times 3 is 15, and 9 times 2 is 18. That means our new fractions with common denominators are 15 over 36 plus 18 over 36. Now our last step remaining is you have to add. Now remember, whenever you're adding or subtracting fractions, the denominator stays the same. So that means we're just going to go over here and write 36 as a denominator and add 15 plus 18. So over here, 8 plus 5 is 13, carry the 1, and then 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. That means the sum of 18 and 15 is 33. Come over here, write that, and we have our final answer, sorry, 33 over 36. So that's that for adding fractions with de different denominators. Now, in our coming up video, we'll be talking about subtracting fractions with different denominators. So, you, so we hope you keep on watching us, and we'll see you guys next time.